forget to simplify rational expressions, um, remember that when you do that, you have to factor everything in the numerator and in the denominator. And the two problems that I'm going to share with you in this clip have some or difference of cubes in them. Um, and so, as a reminder, over, I've, over here I've just put up um, that the sum of two cubes can be factored into this binomial a plus b and this trinomial a squared minus ab plus b squared. Please remember that this sign has to match. This sign is the opposite of the, in this case we're doing the sum of cubes, and this sign is always positive, so I use that acronym MOP to make sure that I factor a cube correctly. Sign matches, it's opposite and it's positive. The numerator of this problem is the difference of squares though. So let's factor that into a plus b and a minus b. Done. Easy. Difference of squares. Here's the sum of cubes and you know essentially other than the fact that these are lowercase letters this is going to factor into that expression over to the right. The next problem that we're going to do, I'm going to make sure I have some coefficients here, some numbers in front of the variable. So this expression is going to factor into a little a plus b. Again, over there I have capital A plus b, but these are lowercase variables. And then little a squared minus opposite sign matches opposite and then positive. So I've got um, the numerator and the denominator factored. And once I've done that, rem remember that you take out a common factor. It is equivalent to, it is like saying I'm removing the number 1 because that's a plus b over a plus b. So I'm taking out a 1. So all I have left in this numerator is the a minus b and then the a squared minus the ab plus the b squared. This is not factorable, again. And if you didn't know why, you could use the AC method to, to term, determine that. There's no way to find two numbers whose product is 1 that adds to be a minus 1. Because product is 1 has to be 1 and 1. Those will always add to be either 2 or negative 2. So they can't add to be that 1 right there. Let's do another problem. <clears throat> so here we have the difference of squares and the sum of cubes. I'm going to go ahead and put the problem up while you're maybe finishing. Um, so let's go... And it happens that in this problem, I happen to have a sum of cubes. Again, I probably should have made that a difference of cubes. I wasn't thinking there. Um, but let's go ahead and factor the numerator and factor the denominator. Uh, the numerator in this problem just has a greatest common factor in it of a 3. So let's get the 3 out of there. So we'll have 3 times the 2x plus 3. And then down here, I have to determine what my a value over there, and my B values, my capital A and my capital B values are. This is, this is real hard for some folks, and I'm just going to help you practice with that factoring thing again. One thing you could do is you could get your calculator out and find out what the cube root of 8 is. I'm asking you, though, when, what is the cube root of 8? I'm asking you for what number times itself three times gives you 8, and 2 is that number. 2 times itself three times gives you 8. And then, you know, what letter times itself three times gives you x to the third, and that letter is x. So the, the, x, the factor 2x, if you cubed it, this a value, if you cubed 2x, 2x times 2x times 2x is 8x cubed. So my a value that I'm going to put into this problem everywhere is going to be the expression 2x. And the cube root of 27 is the number 3. So in other words, 3 cubed gives you 27. So my b value for that formula over there has to be the number 3. So that's how you find your a and your b value. Now you just stick the 2x and the 3 in here, anywhere you see a and b. So it's pretty easy for the binomial. The binomial is going to be the a value plus the b value this 2x plus 3. But be careful here. You have to take the 2x, which is your a value, and you have to square it. So that's going to be 4x squared. And then we have to have an opposite sign here, and we have to take our a value times our b value, which is 3, 
And then finally, always a plus sign right here, and that's our B value squared, which is going to be 9. I'm going to go ahead and write this down here. So finally, in the numerator, I could cross those off right now, but I'm just going to be a little bit more formal about this. So I have 3 times the 2x plus 3 in the numerator. In the denominator, I have the 2x plus 3. And I have, um, I'm sorry, right here, 2x squared. 2x, the quantity squared, is 4x squared. This is 6x. This is 9. That's the factored form of the top and the bottom. And I would cross these off because they're equal to 1. And my final answer is, I don't have room to write this right now, but it is this 3 over this trinomial. Actually, maybe I can fit it in over here, so I'm going to go ahead and put this. My final answer to this problem is the 3 over the 4x squared minus the 6x plus the 9. Um, that's kind of my last clip on simplifying rational expressions. Um, I, I, it would be good for, this particular cl clip would be good for more of an intermediate algebra student because we tend to use sum and difference of cubes in that course.